We're gonna lump all uh, we're gonna lump all the smaller burns together. This can't be the traffic jam. My, there's a giant horse show. Look at that, Ava. Giant horse show. Look at that horsey. Whoa, there's a lot of horses there. That's cool. Uh, we're gonna run through all the smaller burns. Last week we put them all together. It just makes sense that they have two, three, four horses. So we'll start again with Jared's burn. I just had them written down in that order. Jared's burn, uh, road tripper and final answer are getting close to schooling. They trained in 218 at the farm track today. Jared is very happy with final answer and road tripper, so I'm happy. And then we got Trafalgar. Her big meeting with the vet is coming up this week. We'll x-ray to make sure that, that uh, Tibby is healed up good. Then she'll be back going in Harry's barn. This three weeks of swimming has kept her cardio up. Probably a week of jogging and right back into training. We'll have her back, hopefully, for uh, maybe the last day or two. She is eligible for some other stuff, but I don't want to talk about that in Jigsaw. So Trafalgar, hopefully, looking to be back in Harry's barn at some point next week. We'll move on to Angie's barn, Angie Coleman. Uh, when's the, is he race tonight, the Lincoln James? when he races. Lincoln James is racing. I talked to you guys the other day. We might put him in the Harrisburg sale. We got some other horses to put in the Harrisburg sale also. This is all about cleaning up the, the periphery, if you will, of the stable, uh, polishing up those edges. There is a winter meet coming in Illinois where I think we might ship some horses out to, out to Angie to race in the winter also. It makes sense to me, uh, especially some of the horses that are maybe tweeners, if you will, in between Flamborough and Woodbine and Mohawk. Um, it just gives us a bit of a cushion to have Angie out there. So if Angie's watching, we're likely going to put some horses in your barn this coming February at Hawthorne. What's in her barn right now? Lincoln James, oh so pine, threw up two seconds. Actually, one of his better races since last year. No, his best race since last year. Closing at the wire, starting to get his head back in the game. I like what I see from him, and I like the job always that Angie and Rob are doing there. Olympic hopeful is uh, Olympic hopeful is racing today. Yeah. Races were canceled yesterday due to rain at the fair track, uh, the DeCoin. So she, she races for 30 grand, I think. I'm not sure what she races for. I think 32,000 again. So Olympic hopeful is racing this afternoon and see you in Tuscany is off to the sale on Tuesday. Huge disappointment for 2019. Um, obviously I said last week, I feel terrible for the breeders and the people that stayed involved. It's just one of those things, I guess. Uh, Tuscany decided he didn't want to be a, a, a racehorse at three. Hopefully he goes to a good farm and uh, that speed starts to bubble up again. I always cheer for our horses, even if we sell them. I'm not the guy that says, oh, I sold them. I hope they do terrible. I'd like to see them do good moving forward. And see you in Tuscany. Worked real hard to be an effective two-year-old. I hope he finds his way in another burn. Then we'll move on to Jamie Smith. My buddy Jamie Smith has one horse for us. Five run homers racing this afternoon. Is this afternoon or tonight? I'm not sure. Racing today in Prince Edward Island. A lot of people say, why is he racing in Prince Edward Island? Well, we're going to take our time. Let him get a little experience. A couple more starts down there. The reason being, I don't have to worry about him putting money on his card. That gets him out of classes up here. He could win both those starts and still fit the maiden anywhere in Ontario. So uh, I would like to see five run homer win today. I'd like to see him do well today and uh, take a good look at him. This is a horse that I think is going to be a real nice colt for us in the fall and in the winter. Uh, Andrew Harris only has one horse for us right now. He Well, Knockdown Dragout's on her way back. He had to draw health papers for her. We'll talk about her in a minute in a, di in a different segment. But as far as Andrew, he is cruising with style. What is he racing? He's racing soon, I know that. Uh, he won his last start. He's done very, very well since he's headed down to Yonkers. Very impressed with one, the way that Andrew has managed him, and two, the way the horse has raced. Done exactly what we wanted him to do. You know, we went easy with him throughout the spring in hopes that we'd have him ready in the middle of the summer and he'd be hitting his best stride in the fall when everybody else has their tongue hanging out. And it's working so far. Cruising in style is racing really, really well. Another guy with one horse left. Brandon Bates has won. Beach Bum BB is her name, and she raced well the other day. Beat ahead, 55, closing. Brandon's done a great job with this filly. This is exactly what we were trying to do with, with Beach Bum BB. Obviously, a stubborn filly. It's taken seven, eight, nine starts, however many starts, but she finally got it. Really impressed with what I saw from her last week. Brandon drove her great. She raced great. Really impressed with Beach Bum BB's progression so far. John Boot Chain has a few horses for us. Stonebridge Simba just 
missed, just missed in the Stallion Series the other day, second and 55, and looked tremendous, raced great. Um, Harness AM, first start on Lazex, she got a little rough down by the wire, but finished up better. Really excited about her second start. I was excited until I saw who she draw in with, going for 90,000 on Wednesday, drew the outside, the toughest spot in the track, in with all, it seems like all the best fillies in the universe. So Harness AM, real, real uphill battle. Or, geez, we got a bunch of clients here today. A real, real uphill battle today for uh, for or Wednesday for Harness AM. And then also Libero Hanover. Libero Hanover looks like he's come to life again. Uh, finished third the other day, closing. I know it was a slow quarter, but he could have went just as slow and been fifth. He finished up, looked like he had some fire in his eyes, finishing up his mile. Very impressed with one, how he raced two, the way Corey Callahan drove him. I'll be driving him very similarly on, uh, is that Todd? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be driving very similar on, uh, driving him very similar on Coleman. Uh, very similar on, um, Wednesday. Anyway, that's him. Then we have Tim Twaddle. Tim, can you, you guys can get out. Tim Twaddle's burn. We have just for me and you, Path of Totality. Both drew the worst three horses racing on Wednesday. All three drew the outside. Just for me and you needs to race good on Wednesday, so I'm going to drive her hard. She needs to be first or second, I think, to even have a shot at getting in the uh, cash on me. Uh, to even have a shot of getting in the Sire Stakes final, uh, at least the, the Stallion Series final. Path of Totality needs to race good to secure a spot. She's been racing well. I think you're going to see her best race ever. 56-2 and two the other day. Just a real, real good mile for her. We pulled the plug on Rose Run Versatile. I told Tim just to blister her up real good and send her down to Ohio. Doyle's going to pick her up, I assume, when he picks up Tiger. No, we're going two different directions. Um, Path of, uh, Versatile is going to Winterwood right away. And um, Tiger might be here yet. I don't think he is, though. i got to ask someone to drop him off. We're going to school him Tuesday at Mohawk without any hobbles on. Might take a couple of weeks, but I think he'll figure it out. I was really happy mechanically how he trotted. Uh, obviously, it devastated with how um, poorly he raced. But I think I know why. One, the allergies a little bit. Two, for some reason, the hobbles are really working against him now. Oh, this is the burn tour that Kelly was putting on. I thought that was tomorrow. I thought it was tomorrow, too, but it appears it's not. And Will Power Fashion, Sebastian Yu have both raced admirably. Uh, Sebastian Yu, I think, is sitting on a big mile on... Yeah, I'll be done in just a sec. Sitting on a big mile on... Uh, those of you who watch my videos, probably none of you, uh, we're doing one right now. So, uh, Will Power Fashion made a break his last start. We're looking for him. You got clothes on in this? Yeah, yeah, no, it's not that kind of video. We do those later on at night. <laughs> so, uh, Sebastian Yu is sitting on a big mile, I believe, on Sunday night at uh, the Poconos. And Will Power Fashion, just always trying to do his best. I'm going to cut him loose again in uh, the Poconos on Sunday night and see what we have in store for those Colts. Anyway, that's Tim's burn, Brandon's burn, Andrew's burn. Blair has heavenly skies. He's taking her to Mohawk. Uh, this afternoon, I believe, to train. So she's getting closer. John Bootenchain. Scott Domenico uh, is sending back really blue chips. So Scott's not going to have any horses for us. He'll own. He still owns a quarter of a quarter of really blue chip. But uh, she's coming back here. See if we can get her back on track. She's been really poor her last two starts. And we're going to try and get to the bottom of that. So that's a bunch of the smaller stables. I'm going to be back in just a minute. I always think I miss somebody. Be back in just a minute. We got the big boys. We got Harry, Kevin, Jason Spurn, both in the States and Canada. Be back in just a minute.